Should you buy a teardrop trailer or some other kind of an RV? Well, I don't know, but let's look at why I bought mine. You know, I used to backpack. I still do. I backpack. I kayak camp. I mountain bike camp. Uh, I do. I do it all. I car camp. Uh, and now, I teardrop trailer camp, which is, I guess, a form of RV camping. Now, to some people, this trailer is pretty low down on the totem pole because it's not big. And uh, I would argue that point. <laughs> I looked at scamps. I looked at uh, casitas. I looked at a lot of different things. You know, I, I, I looked at everything on the market from, you know, travel vans, fifth wheels, uh, everything. Cost was not an object with me. Adventure was. Uh, that was my objective. I wanted to enjoy nature. Now, everything has its trade-offs. You put this trailer in a swamp, a bug-infested swamp, and, you know, it's not going to be too much fun, right? I'll probably hitch it up and leave. But uh, a place like this where it's nice conditions. Now, I am getting a spectacular rainstorm and I'm glad I've got the trailer to get into. It's uh, really coming down. Heavy duty lightning, thunder, hail reports. Haven't seen any hail yet, but it's not over. No problem. Now, the inside's pretty roomy. It's a queen size mattress in here, it folds into a couch. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. You know, it's a great room here. You know, room with a view. I was up stargazing last night. Oh, it's fabulous, you know. So it's, uh, it's a great little rig. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm a part of the uh, Vistabule Teardrop Trailer Enthusiast Group. Steve runs that. And, you know, you, you get a lot of chatter from everybody uh, about these trailers. It's good if you want to learn more about these trailers. That's a good place to start. You can get a lot of uh, information from people there. In shopping, you know, when I looked at uh, various things, Steve says, on the Vistabule Teardrop Trailer Enthusiast Group on Facebook, Steve, the guy who runs it, he says uh, you live out of a teardrop trailer and you live in an RV. And I think that uh, touches on something that, uh, that teardrop trailer owners might identify with. Um, when I looked at Casitas and uh, uh, scamps and uh, a lot of other RVs, even the bigger RVs, even like a Leisure, you know, which is a beautiful mobile home. You know, it's got the motor, Mercedes uh, Sprinter platform and all that. They're tiny on the inside. Uh, people are trying to duplicate a home inside there and they do a pretty good job, but uh, make no mistake, it's, uh, it's uh, not a home. <laughs> in, in, in my view, it's uh, too narrow in there, walking around, two people in there. I, I just, I felt claustrophobic. Now that's funny, right? Because I have a little teardrop trailer. The design of this trailer with a curved roof and all, it feels very roomy inside. And my kitchen's enormous, right? I can come out here, I have plenty of room. And that just clicked with me. I just enjoyed it more. So this uh, made sense to me. And maybe not anybody else, you have different needs. So. You know, it's worth looking at how you're going to use something and if you're going to be happy with the way your configuration is or you're going to want to kill each other inside of a smaller uh, travel van. So those are uh, important details. Also cost of ownership was important for me. This, uh, this trailer is uh, very inexpensive to run. Uh, once you own it, there's not a whole lot you can do to it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got some water, it's got a stove. Uh, I put in electric for a refrigerator. Uh, it's pretty simple, high efficiency. You know, everything runs on solar panels here and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I have to say, when I go to campgrounds with my buddies uh, with nice big RVs, we spend a good portion of every camping trip working on something, whether it's the heating system, the cooling system, the electrical system. There's always some system that's on fire and needs to be uh, get a little bit of love. So that's, uh, I didn't want complexity. Ease of storage was good for me. And uh, simplistic, simple ownership was good for me. So, uh, you know, teardrop trailers are fun. They come, you know, this is not the only one. There's a million of them out there. There's a, seems to have some kind of a resurgence now, teardrop trailers. And uh, there's a lot of them out there from home built to, uh, 
to, you know, this model weighs 1,500 pounds. I've seen teardrop trailers that are as light as five and 600 pounds. You can tow them with a Prius. So you have a lot of choices out there. Uh, the considerations are yours. Temperatures dropped quite a bit. It's really cooled off. It's been uh, in the high 80s all day and uh, very humid. So this is a welcome relief. windows do a really good job of keeping the rain out and letting ventilation in. You have to watch these windows. They're a little tapered on top because of the round shape. Uh, so sometimes I have to close them. That was a good thunder, a good lightning. Wow. Heavy duty rain. This field I'm in will flood in the rain. It doesn't matter because I'm up uh, in the trailer. You'll get an inch or two of water in here but in, the, in the field, but uh, not bad at all. So while I'm here, let's look at the campsite. I did not include the extras in the cost. All right, I've got my uh, my Clam Quick Set Traveler, a couple of solar panels uh, uh, out here, carpeting, got the trailer got the uh, kitchen, the eat out kitchen. <laughs> you know, that's another money saver. Uh, you save a lot of money being able to make your own food and cook your own food. Uh, I got a refrigerator in there for fresh food. Uh, hey, a room for two, pretty nice room for two or one. Propane, uh, you know, I have plenty of videos about the trailer. So you can, uh, you can see other videos about this trailer. I've got like 70 of them. Everything from how to provision it to, uh, to how to buy it.